Our top story this morning, the United States has once again pledged that it will provide firm and extended deterrence measures for South Korea to counter the rising threats posed by North Korea. The pledge came during a meeting between Seoul and Washington's foreign and defense chiefs in Washington on Wednesday local time. Holding a joint press conference with South Korea's Foreign Minister Yoon byung se after the talks, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said the allies do not and will not accept North Korea as a nuclear-armed state. He added that Pyongyang's continued provocations not only threaten regional stability, but also violate U.N. Security Council resolutions. Kerry also said the allies will up and energize what they've already been doing to further pressure North Korea. Minister Yoon said practical details on extended deterrence against North Korea will follow meetings of a new high-level bilateral body. South Korea's top diplomat also said the two sides will pursue North Korea's human rights abuses overseas, slave labor, and increasing info access in the North.